Hello and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. Why are all the lights off? Beats we will me. go through the cutscene again. I think. I remember seeing it. Or at least to some extension. Hello! Because Let's I closed the around. game in the meantime. And it saved before it. Okay. Um, hello? We've arrived. Okay, we don't have any flashlight. Buttons do nothing. We cannot pulse here. So let's see. Oh yeah, I didn't find anything else. Huh. I don't even know what the second thing is. Looks like an owl, maybe? A very majestic lady on the, on the painting. Mm, let's check upstairs. If you will hear some banging in the background, I don't hold anyone hostage in my basement or anything. There's just a renovation going on next door. Huh. Okay, let's maybe not. Or maybe we do. It's always a... What the hell was that? It's always a problem in the games like that. For me at least. To figure out when I need where I need to go and on purpose choose the other way. Because I don't want to progress the story too fast. I'd like to explore a little bit more because as we saw this previously. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little odd. Oh god. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. I'm gonna... And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. They didn't play the devil in me. <laughs> That's super comforting. So let's try these doors. They don't really have the progress these bar. Creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> it's technically it's supposed to give me the arrows by the A, but nah, I don't trust it. Mrs. Lieber, I'm writing to confirm that you. Oh, sorry, I'm writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I've asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. That doesn't sound good. I recall hearing. I recall hearing mention that you, your visitors, are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case. Would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty, and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary, should it be needed. I am only a short drive away, if called upon and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service and as a state manager of Grant Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve profit probity? The fuck is probity? And reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation. Your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Okay. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Oh, what? whoa, the fuck? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. No, like, you just read. They were sent away. It's not a trip. I have a feeling that this will be important in the future. Do you play? Um, a little. Hmm. So, okay. Exploration successfully completed. So let's progress. There is nothing there. <clears throat> okay.
we found a clue. So th in this game, I think it's especially important because the clues you get unlock additional dialogue options. So not this way then. Okay, this is the progress. Okay, I think there is not much more for us to do. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. I will kill this guy. Hate him. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. And he completely oh, ignored... Oh, Stan, this is... Yeah. Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your back end call. Only if you call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait. Didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. Jesus Christ, this conversation was Stan? so well, chaotic. I won't bore you with all the details, but... It involves money and fast cars and trading, but nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Huh, a handle to the wall. Okay, this is progress. So let's not, not yet. The Epic of Gilgamesh. <laughs> A bit of light bedtime reading. 
my friend, wait, the slaying of Humbaba. Where is it? Because I just want to read not the entire thing, but only the handwritten thing. Annotation, oh yeah. Read carefully, Norman. Study close with what Enkidu that tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Humbaba's pleas of clemency, recognized despairing the demon would undo you, our hero righteously won victory, that only violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for champion that shows restraint. Okay, that's it. Okay, so collection artifacts. The storyteller. Estate letter. Okay, this one we found. The champion. Epic of Gilgamesh. Stuff. File. Oh, okay, so those are connected. Huh. Melinda. Picked up. And Madison. Okay. Cool. What is in here? Some. Ooh, okay, so I think that the child might be cursed. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. There you enter murder the mill. murder mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, I... What? Who? The government. <laughs> when they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Hmm. Conspiracy theory much? Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Well, I don't drink in my real life, so let's make her sober and boring. Uh, 
No, that's okay. And we draw over here. Are you sure? It's very good. I can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. The fuck is going on? We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. I always miss in those types of games a little bit of a why. Why you want to get this thing to wake up. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial you're imaginations can come up with but you'll never defeat our spirit oh Jesus Christ no 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 my sister oh god all I have to do is betray my own sister and you will let me go free to fight another day god damn you god damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice mm, 
well, continuing his line of story, it would be, I'd rather die. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Ah. Is the alien cutting his feet off? And cut. How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I feel like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh... Well, let me check the gate. Can Let me gate on these check the rates? gate. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um... Well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Hmm. Who do we like more? Well, yeah, we got to respect the director, I think. Linda, when you're making movies, you got to respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. <laughs> Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't... You can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Okay, so uh, they are a couple. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. I chose good. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, 
I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. Aww. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Well, I think that they will respect the dude. Oh man, sir, we're really sorry. We we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime! We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And uh, don't forget to clean up. He's gonna be more like um on the chill side. Like without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera be down just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. You can change the location, you can make it up horror-esque again in like any of circumstances, so that's not a big deal. And most of it it's only zoom zoom ups or close ups on the actor's face and chopped up hand. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. I wonder if it happens before or after he shot the dude. It's closed, so I think it's after. A curiosity on Main Street. Cedar Hills, 1980. Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Jesus, she's Gawk. dramatic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. But whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. 
And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Oh, I think she would be more into the victims. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Seriously, guys, I just want to know why you withheld all this crucial murder mill information from me until now. It wasn't relevant. There's no world in which that's true. I need to know everything. That's pretty much all I know. Same. <sighs> There's got to be more to it. You've got a library card. Look it up. Linda, can I borrow your library card? <laughs> nope. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Are there... Like siblings or something? He has a Spanish hey, sounding name. You okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. <laughs> no, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Mm, yeah, let's go for the bunk. For the buck. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. Oh, 
All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? <laughs> it's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. They can have you... Hey, they Chris. can even have an old camera. Curiosity shop, because it's more interesting to the plot Why than not? a pharmacy. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. I love Lead that joke. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Aha. Uh, these look like they've seen Told better you. days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please, come on inside. She sounds like the oldest lady in the world. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. Maybe this one? There is some red there, Where so I guess it's cameras. The... Oh, again. How, How do I find these the things? Like... Previous scenes, previous chapters, I just had this pulse, and when I pulsed, it was showing me the places where there were, but in here, there is nothing. Oh, cute bunny. It's also a killer from the Dead by Daylight, right? Like one of the killers wears a mask. And this scene gives me the vibe of Cabin in the Woods, where they are where. where they were going around picking up stuff, deciding on what will kill them without them knowing. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Dear Miss, uh, well, dear, dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned Nat, jeez, Ned's Natty Ned Nax. What a name. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. 
My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lessons to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar, Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement after all time is a great healer. After all, time is a great healer. And perhaps one day you will find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, our striker Jesus, the most unluckiest guy in the world. Yeah, I, I cannot pulse in here, so I don't think it's anything like the figurine is in here. This is also from one of the killers, but I know it more from the Watchman and the Comedian. It only lacks a drop of blood. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Just let's give it a second to load all textures. But it looks painful, but at the same time, very cool. Talk to Linda. No, Linda, I will not talk to you. Not yet, at least. I will talk to my boyfriend. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Oh, and he ran off looking for another way to get into the mill. Yeah, let's try to be nosy. I expected as much. Oh, come on. She wanted to say something. Ah. Let's not. Who? Who are you? <laughs> I thought that maybe sound cube is building up to something, but nope, just a film reel. Hello. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. I will not do you. Instead of I love you. Oh my god, there's so much stuff on the other side of it. Who would want to watch this? Reap fast. Your movie, you're making a horror movie. The fuck is wrong with you? I would think that you would be loving the creep fest. So sh she just straight up left us in the store. That's a big amount of trust for the 80s in America. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist.
it's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Twenty bucks. Hmm. Would she be haggling? I think she would be haggling. She has this vibe about her. Hmm. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Yeah, give us some bonus. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. What the is it a mirror? What is it? I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> is it a plate? Pocket mirror. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep. It that's us. <laughs> so we haggle the mirror out of her. I think we are gonna be... Like, she was the witch and she will be very delighted in us getting killed. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? The fuck is an emergency sock quarter? Oh, finally, maybe I will find something. There you are. Waterlock the shoe. Okay, I was not expecting a sandal. This is just, just, I will keep it. Why the fuck not? Fear trap. Yeah, I wanna play that. Oh, I can. <gasps> Come on, start. I cannot shoot. It's just a Galaga. It's... It's a Galaga. Why it was called a fear trap? And half of my shoots is not registering at all. How do I hit the guy in the middle? Oh, I need to hold it. That makes more sense. I thought I need to tap it, like on the actual arcade. Okay, dude, let's try to get you. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, let's get back. I could spend here way too long. Did I, did I lost my quarter and I'm not gonna be able to buy milk and my mom will be like... Or father... I could so find a place for these in murder milk. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. El Bruto Firecrackers. Pulem de go bang. Um... Okay. 
I wonder if not getting a milk will be a problem, or if I even can do it. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Best Left Buried, The Dark Mythology of the Lost, Lost Movie by Joe Blue. There are those films that have been lost over time which, uh, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel at the performance of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe that through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's appearance, disappearance, the most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment for to come forth and claim the victim's star for its own twisted machinations. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's marvel at our collection of chess pieces, horsey, and a sandal or a flip flop. Okay, let's get the let's get some milk. What is fifty percent off? What is fifty percent off? Sale. I'm gonna inspect this cart. Oh, another missing kid. I hope they're found. Missing Benny Baker, missing 24th of April 80, 1980, from Garfield. Hair brown, eyes brown, height four feet six inches, weight 65 pounds. If you, there is no age. No. If you can identify this missing you, please call. Cedar Hill Sheriff's Dep missing persons. Nah, I won't. <laughs> no, I just imagined her putting back the. Nah, I want the other kid. Like Pokemon cards or something. Am I buying it? Is there. Oh, okay. Din -din. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. Is he the son of the sheriff? So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... Just the milkman. Ring it up then. Oh, right. Yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Sock quarter. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad, if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, free labor. Super into it. Offering but... into a black guy. Perfect. <laughs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? That was a joke. He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. <laughs> He's right behind you. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies. At the library. Okay. You need a ride home? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Sure. We're still gonna finish our movie. We got a new camera. An old, new, one that works. <laughs> hey, that's great. Shoot a hundred movies if you want. Just don't shoot him in the mail. You ready? Take care. Like, they cannot leave without her. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mail without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? So the old lady is the oldest lady in the world. She just changes bodies. That's good to know. These walls have eyes. Grand Manor 2024. I think it's her, just her natural way of waking up. Like basic, the first time we saw her, she was like, <coughs> and now she's also. <coughs> so I think it's just the way she wakes up. She just, she never wakes up. She just resurrects. Okay, I think we will leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.